tourmaline. Black is protection. This crystal is very, very protective. I actually have a great story with black tourmaline. I'm going to talk about that later on my channel, but black tourmaline is amazing. Boom, that's my crystal of the day. <laughs> if you don't know, now you know. It's your girl, Baby J, Jalen, Jalen the alien. Yes, I'm from outer space, babes. And if you're messing with this alien in particular, make sure you go subscribe to my channel. Like, seriously, thanks for all the support recently. All my, like, Zodiac videos, astrology videos, and all my videos. Thank you guys so much. I feel y'all energy through the phone, through the camera, whatever the case is. I feel it, okay? I love you guys. I can't shake my head that much because I just... Put this bun on, I mean I didn't put it on, but I just put the bun together and like, I don't know how stable it is because, you know, I'm not used to braids. Okay, so I just randomly thought, why not talk about soulmates? I've never talked about soulmates on my channel, so right now, I want to talk about soulmates, twin flames, all that good old stuff. Just a very like, candid conversation. You know, people always ask me my opinions on soulmates and twin flames, so I'm just gonna basically... This is my part one, and I'm going to talk about twin flames in another video, but this video is going to be more based on soulmates and my opinions on soulmates, but I do touch on twin flames as well. So I've been really in a, like, a relationship mood right now. There's just a lot of relationship energy in my life right now, so I just really want to discuss relationships. And the type of relationships that I've been in in my life and what I've learned through those relationships and also just my opinion on like soulmates and twin flames and such like that. My Venus is in the 8th house and my Mars is in the 8th house, right? So I used to have a tendency to attract very toxic type of lovers because I subconsciously really, really craved these very intense experiences in my love life because, you know, it's the 8th house. I love intensity when it comes to relationships. I ended up getting that cr craving for intensity mixed up with the craving for emotional depth. And that's really what I truly desired as soon, especially when I started ascending on my own personal spiritual journey. I realized that, yo, I don't just want this intense energy in my relationship life. What I really need, what's really going to satisfy my soul is this emotional depth that I can have with a person. This crazy spiritual connection that I can cultivate with a human being or that, you know, I met them in a past life and I just feel that. I love that type stuff, you know? I knew for a while that I knew that I probably wasn't going to find that very quickly or at least, I don't know, it could happen any time, but I just was kind of in a place where I just didn't know. I didn't know what to expect when it came to when would I meet a soulmate because I also have things in my chart that kind of delay romance in my life, so it's weird. I don't know. Every time I see a psychic in my astrology, in my numerology, da, 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 they're always saying I'm not going to get married until very, very far down the line, like in my late 30s or late 20s like it's just not gonna be early for me who knows if that's true I, I feel like that might be true because they always say I'm gonna do something like career blah 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 but I remember being stuck in this very toxic plutonic not platonic but pluto plutonic destructive you know obsessive controlling cheating arguing toxic relationship I'm gonna make a video about that later I, I when I was in that relationship I felt like I was literally stuck in it and I felt like there was no way out I felt like I was imprisoned like I felt like I was deeply merged to the person I was with and I completely gave my all to this relationship so far that I forgot who I was a part of me forgot who I was and what I wanted to do because Neptune's all in my motherfucking shit fucking everything up okay but I have, I have ascended I have finally broken free from that relationship from that toxicity that person no longer has a hold on me or at least a negative hold on me and now our relationship is pretty positive and not toxic or anything like that and I was able to release those feelings and it was very tough and very hard but I did it you know I remember having dreams literally I would go to sleep and I would have these dreams as soon as I really really was starting to heal um, I would have dreams where I was just crying bawling and just feeling like I was li quite literally going to die right I felt like I was going to die like and the reason why I felt that way was because in one of my dreams I was looking at my ex 
and he was looking at me crying and dying and he didn't do anything he knew that he couldn't help me anymore because we were separating and that hurt me so bad I felt like I wanted to die literally I know it's so dramatic but that's literally what it feels like when I fall in love I fall so deeply in love and then I remember he walked away from me and I was just left dying on the floor in the dark and that's when I woke up but when I woke up I felt a sense of release and I knew that from that dream there was a I knew that dream was a signal to me that you are releasing this you are letting this go you are getting out of this situation so whew, to fast forward I got out of that space and I got out of that relationship and now I'm finally in a place of not I was I was I wasn't all the way healed but I at least had you know finally got to a place where I was living like completely on my own and I felt comfortable in my own space because it was I was in a codependent situation where I was almost you not using this person but I almost viewed this person as my stability as my rock so and that's why I always warn people never try to rely on something outside of yourself to give you that sense of happiness and groundedness because at the end of the day that should always come from within right because that person could walk away that relationship could end and then what are you going to do you can't do anything because you were relying on that person so i learned all that stuff right i remember i met this guy like two months after i completely was kind of living on my own and just like operating on my own for a while like away from my family because i was back in la you know and i was just like by myself i'm i'm pretty like introverted as well and a loner so you know people at, at least at that point people were not really a part of my life on a consistent basis so i was really alone with my dog and i I remember I met this guy and I'm gonna call this guy I'm gonna call this guy Tony how did I meet Tony oh I actually met him at this big event event with a lot of entertainers and creators and, and musicians and stuff like that I met him there like a long time ago literally like a year prior and a year prior to this like every now and then we would talk just very friendly, very platonic, and you know, we just have conversations, it would be nothing that deep or anything serious. For some reason, like two months after I got out of that relationship and kind of like really was living on my own, um, he somehow came back into my life and we were talking, but this time I was like in a, I was single, so I was like, okay, let me go talk to this guy, let me go talk to Tony. And one day, Tony was like, hey, we should catch up and we should go like get food or whatever the case is. So I remember he had basically, you know, offered. So I was like, okay, yeah, let me go. Let me, why not? Why not? I remember going to dinner with this man and sitting at the table and looking in his eyes. And I just felt like something about him was so familiar. Something about him was so familiar to me. And it was like, it was like, I don't know how to explain it. I just knew that I met him before, right? And I just knew that. This man was about to make some type of impact on my life, good or bad. I already knew. I was like, oh lord, what are we gonna do now? Like, what's happening now? But it was literally very crazy. Every time me and this man would like link up and meet, it would be the most craziest random synchronistic moment. If you don't know what synchronicities are, they're basically like meaningful coincidences. I would have so many synchronistic experiences when, when it came to this man. Man, it would it came down to Tony like I would see all the numbers under the Sun there would be times where like I would be thinking of him and then next thing you know he would call me and he would call me at 444 and I happened to be listening to a song and then he would be playing the exact same song as he called me at the time I was thinking of him that would happen so many times every time we physically got together there was always like this pull and this famili familiarity type thing that I can't really put into words it would just always be like random connections and like when we got together like physically we're together we were so magnetized to each other and it would feel like we would randomly connect with each other like things even outside of us would just randomly happen around us that were synchronistic even like good things and bad things like literally when we got around each other like people would like collide with each other like there was like an accident or like something like right around us every time we linked up it was just very weird and very like um, magnetic and this very like 
deep attraction based thing. I, I looked at our astrology like synastry wise and I noticed that either my north node or his north node was in the 8th house and that is classic that magnetic pull and attraction to a person that you can't explain right? I was just sitting there like yo what is this? We, I keep on seeing all these synchronicities I keep on I feel so pulled to this person I feel, I'm falling deeply and deeper and deeper and deeper in love with this person I'm starting to feel like this person not only is somebody I'm romantically wanting to get involved with but somebody that I really really like was starting to become my best friend almost you know what I'm saying and like this deep sexual attraction and vibe and energy that just oozed out of us and off of him and everything oh my god it was crazy and then poof he's gone ghost me doesn't really talk to me leaves me without anything and here's the thing <laughs> here's another thing there is like this tendency in my life i really feel like i'm not confused when it comes to love i think it's things outside of me that manifest or maybe i am doing it subconsciously but people that i fall for i don't want to put i don't want to manifest this any longer but i'm just letting you guys know people that it seems like i fall for give me everything and then just poof they disappear literally like this guy was giving me everything and gave me everything and just gave me so much energy like it was like it was so obvious that we were we had this karmic connection like I'm not making this up guys I promise and then he disappeared on me ghosted me and that totally like I was so hurt by that like I knew we were in a relationship or anything but I was still so hurt by it let me tell you being ghosted sucks I would never ghost anybody ever I am so sorry if I ghost if I ever ghosted you or I left you on red I'm so sorry that sucks and I deeply apologize but let me tell you he disappeared on me this has happened to me before I fell very very hard had this very huge connection with this a person before in my life and then he just disappeared off the face of the earth literally his family didn't even hear from him anymore he, nobody knows where he is he could be dead but this happened like that has happened to me before so I was like what what the hell is this pattern that I'm manifesting so then he disappears on me and I don't hear from him for a very long time so I kind of just get over it and I let it go and I move on and I release it blah 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 all that good spiritual shit right so then I remember I was having a conversation with my psychic and I was like, listen, psychic, because I do tarot too, but it's honestly, I realized for me at least, it's harder for me to read for myself. It's way easier for me to read for other people because I guess I can have the tendency to be biased. So I have a psychic and a spiritual advisor and I asked my spiritual advisor, I was like, listen, okay, so I don't like need love right now. I don't really want it. I mean, I don't, it's like neutral, right? So but I was interested to know, like, when would be the next time I would meet a soulmate? And he said that basically, he said, I, re I forgot exactly when it was, when it happened, but it was very synchronistic. He said, in five months, I would meet my soulmate. How I would know was basically he would be a little bit older than me. He would have previously been in the military. He would be in a, in a creative career, you know, in a creative career, like singing, acting, dancing, blah, blah, blah. And then I would also meet him right before I would go on a plane and travel. And I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> you know, so months pass by. And little did you know, that time comes around, I didn't even remember because that was literally months ago that he told me that, right? Months go by and it, I kind of thought about it every now and then like, ooh, I'm going to meet that mystery man on in May because it actually was five months and it was May as well, which is like really cool. It's about that time when I'm about to come home from being in LA for a while, so I go back home to Florida. And I wasn't even thinking about any of it. And then this guy, the guy that I haven't talked to in absolute months. I had a dream, right? This was in May. I had a dream of this beautiful land, right? This beautiful land. It was like a, a big trail and there was butterflies everywhere and then there was like a bunch of plants and xyz i remember i looked up the omen for butterflies and that's all about big transformation big changes you know growth you know obviously the butterfly expands and grows from a cocoon blah 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 caterpillar you know all that good old shit so i was like oh my god great 
great. That's it was such a beautiful dream. I kid you not. I go on my Instagram story the next day when I wake up and I look at my Instagram stories and when I pass by Tony's story, he posts himself walking in this trail that looked exactly like my dream and guess what there was butterflies all over the trail and I was like OMG so I had to I asked him like yo I haven't really spoken to him in months but I had to, I had to ask I was like yo yo when where did you where did you take this I have to visit here because I saw this in my dream and he told me and then he was like wait let's catch up um I was very nervous about that because I don't trust him I didn't trust him at all right because I'm like you literally ghosted me blah 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 xyz but I was like you know what ah, screw it <laughs> I'm in a better place now I can handle this type of stuff so I link up with him and we go out to dinner and once again, it's that weird synchronistic thing, synchronistic, synchronicity things are happening all around us, and I see the numbers and everything, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh my god, right? But this time, I wasn't as, like, enamored by him at a romantic level. I was more just kind of like, whatever, because I had done everything to kind of release him out of my life and release that energy out of my life so when I met him I wasn't as like oh my god romantically like attracted in that sense because I kind of was like iffy about him now so basically we're talking we're having great conversation we were there for like at least five hours talking he was he told me everything and basically he had went through a lot of stuff the exact stuff that I had went through a couple months previously in life in general and y'all that followed me know I went through a lot of stuff that really tried me spiritually and mentally, physically, all that good old stuff. Well, not good, bad. He was he had went through the exact same stuff I did and I was like, oh my god, that's so weird. And then he had to really, he isolated himself and he felt like he had to deal with that on his own. I was like, okay, I get it, but you know you could have talked to me about that. I literally would have been the perfect person for you to talk to. And he was like, yeah, 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 no. I know. I would tell you Zodiac sign, but some of y'all nosy and y'all y'all know how to get into people's business real quick. But little did you know, it all clicked to me all in that moment because I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait. I was thinking about yo this is may who is this mystery man right who is this mystery man that my psychic tells me i'm going to meet so i was go so i was thinking about it i was like oh shoot no way you cannot tell me i've been waiting for this mystery man this whole time and it's tony no way so i'm like okay let me think about this. He said he would be a bit older than me. Tony is a bit older than me. He is in a creative career. He's a singer in a group. When am I leaving to go home on a plane? Tomorrow. Wow, um, that's pretty close. I guess you can't dispute that. The thing that I thought he didn't have was the military thing. The military thing's missing. This guy, he wasn't in the military, at least so I thought, but I asked him. I was like, listen, there's, because I was in disbelief. I was like, no way. Everything, basically everything my psyche had told me, he this guy had, and this guy was. And I was like, okay. Then I asked, I was like, quick question, random question. Have you ever been in the military? And he says, yeah. Yeah, I actually have for three years, but I don't really tell anybody about that. How did you know? Why'd you ask that? It's a secret. I'm like, <gasps> I was so shook. I was like, oh my god, you cannot be serious. This guy, this guy that I cannot trust, I cannot trust to save my life. This guy that goes to me is my soulmate? How on earth? I had to do a lot of thinking because I knew consciously that I didn't want to be with this guy like right away or anything like that because I didn't trust him. Even though when we were talking, I felt like he was very genuine about his intentions and everything like that and what he wanted from me and like he was saying no I want to be with you and I was like oh, oh I don't know about that because you your actions are not matching your words here so you have to prove that to me now and he was a, he's a very he's a very busy person too like he's all over the place all over the country all over the place doing his art so I'm just like wow so then it caused me to go on this I guess journey exploring soulmates and twin flames and I came to the conclusion that I don't think that you necessarily have to always be with your soulmate. I think that there is times that you guys, like before you get to earth and before you manifest into this reality, I think you make soul contracts, which are just agreements before 
that are saying, hey, at this point of our lives, when we're on Earth, I think that we should meet or do this so that we can assist each other in this development and, and you know, make our development easier in life. Whatever our life purpose is and life goal is, I think that's what relationships are, basically. I think they're mirrors of ourselves and also mirrors of things we have to learn and lessons and just opportunities to ascend, right? Beneficially and mutually mutual growth so I came to the conclusion that I don't think you just have one soulmate and I know some people are like oh that's how do you believe that but I think that you have multiple soulmates I think that I think I think you meet different people karmically at different points of your life t to teach you something I don't think you have multiple twin flames I think you have multiple you have multiple soulmates though your soulmate is your perfect match and your twin flame is your perfect mirror it is you in reverse. I feel like the twin flame is the inverted sense of self. It's your inverted self, right? When it comes to soulmates, a lot of so I feel like I met like a pretty decent amount of soulmates that some people I knew I just damn not sure knew I had karmic ties with. And with him, I don't think that we're ever gonna get together. Hey, I might look at this like five, ten years from now and be like, oh well, Jay, you you played yourself because guess what? We're always evolving, always changing. But who knows? All I know is right now, I don't really, I'm not in a place to really like trust this person or anything like that. Like, my love life in general is just, oof, right now, just, oof. I'm just like in a place where I need to personally process and I need to like, you know, be on my own personal path. And I just wanted to up and get you guys on my life and just candidly talk about relationships and what I've learned in relationships thus far. You know, add in some major keys so that, you know, you can go throughout your life and notice certain things and maybe you can have a little light bulb like, like, oh, I remember Jay talked about this and maybe I should avoid this and avoid that and do this and do that. You know, that's what I'm here for. I'm your big sis, okay? And to some people out there, I'm their little sis and they're probably going to be in the comments like, oh, poor little baby Jay. Let me tell you something, baby girl. <laughs> but, you know, so that was just the conversation about soulmates and twin flames. And I know a lot of people ask me about what is my opinion on soulmates and twin flames. So I just wanted to talk to your papa. Yep. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And make sure you comment something in your experience with soulmates or twin flames and your opinions and all that good old stuff. I, I actually mean that because I actually give a shit. I like looking at different people's perspectives, especially all over the world. So yes, please comment down below. Bye bye now.